Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Canadian Retro. I've got a pretty big pickup video here for you because I haven't done a video in a very long time and I apologize for that. I hope all this stuff is brand new to the uh, the video, I'm not even sure if some of it might be uh, things that I piled up a little bit before, but I think for the most part it's, it's new and hasn't been in a video yet. So uh, with that being said, I went to a couple of shows, I've been to like a couple of Barry game exchanges I've been to. Um, I think it was the Toronto one as well, then I was uh, also just doing a little bit of thrifting. Hasn't, haven't had a whole lot of stuff considering the length of time that it's been, but it's been pretty slim out there like a lot of people probably noticed as far as the thrifting game goes. But still once in a while I'm able to find something that interests me and you know is a decent price. So that's what I'm uh, going to be showing off today. So first thing though, I got these from one of the uh, one of the game shows here and I can't remember which ones but they're just some manuals to uh, complete some some games so I got the Sims busting out my GameCube copy did not have that so I just figured I'd get that it's like a, a sports title NBA Live 96 nothing crazy all these manuals are in like super mint condition though I think that's uh, why they're a little pricey they're like you know five bucks each kind of thing but uh, just to finish off my my stuff, you know, it's fine by me. So sports talk, baseball, again, nothing crazy. Uh, and then PGA Tour Golf 2. I also got a one, I think I already put it in a case for Comic Zone as well as uh, this Tasmania one. So this is for the Genesis and uh, my copy did not have a manual. So I kind of went through the guys like manuals and just picked out ones that, um, you know, I didn't. I didn't have already so those are gonna go in those cases and pretty happy to complete those also on the thrift and I'm trying to remember how much I paid for these it couldn't have been more than a couple bucks each um, but I picked up a whole bunch of sort of old-school like 90s um, well fighting games <laughs> um, you know guides so we got here the Ultimate Guide to Fighting Games 1997 edition. So that's that one there. I can do like a more close up look at some of these. They're in really good shape too. Uh, I got this one, this Mortal Kombat Trilogy. So this is the official strat guide. So that's pretty cool. And again, like I said, they're they're in really good condition. I sometimes I see them and they're like beat up and stuff, so I don't bother, but this one's too good. Official uh, collectors book the <laughs> collector spell with a K this is uh, Mortal Kombat 3 so I grab that this is the ultimate guide to fighting games 1995 edition kind of neat don't know if I'm gonna hold on to these but you never know and uh, also Mortal Kombat 2 official strat guide so uh, if you want me to go through these I can uh, let me know if you'd like to see them if you uh, have one in particular that you're interested in um, let me know and I'll, I can make a video just kind of going through the pages of one of those. Uh, moving right along, I can't even remember where I got these from, but it was some game show or something to that effect. They don't have any stickers on them, so I can't fully remember. But uh, I picked up NBA 2K17, just I didn't have a, a basketball game on the Xbox One, so I grabbed it. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow... Six Siege Advanced Edition, also on the Xbox One. Uh, NHL 16, I had another NHL game which did not work. Um, so I'm hoping that that one will, and I also picked up 17, just so that I could have some hockey games. And I like hockey games, I really enjoy them. I'm not into like a lot of the other sports games, but hockey games I do enjoy, so. And there's that, and then I also pick up Star uh, Starlink. And the reason why I did that is I actually have the Starlink like box and everything for Xbox One. It has like all the parts in it. The only thing that was missing was the game. So now I can complete it. So that's why I just grabbed that. Um, let's see here. All right. So these also came from I'm pretty sure the game show. So. Uh, my son's really been into the Assassin's Creed games and I think on the extra live stream he's gonna uh, stream Black Flag because that's the uh, Cartridge Club game of the month in November so pretty excited about that. 
um, but this one here is Assassin's Creed Chronicles. So pick that one up. Also got, uh, let's see here. This I just never uh, knew a lot about, but it was $5 called Has Been Heroes. Looked interesting enough to me. So grab that for Xbox One. I've been grabbing, I was kind of going on a little bit of a Xbox One hunt because I did find a system and didn't have a lot of games, but also picked up uh, Fallout 76. And these are all like, I was only paying like $5 a game pretty much for any of those. Again, for my son, there's uh, Assassin's Creed 3 because he's enjoying them and I'm trying to basically get any Assassin's Creed game I can for him. And then this one's for me though, this is um, a game I really enjoyed on the Xbox 360. And this is Deus Ex Human Revolution, but this is Augmented Edition. It's like, uh, I picked it up. I picked it up uh, for 10 bucks. I think I probably got a $2 discount on it. So that kind of thing but uh, there you go it's all in there for ps3 really nice i really enjoyed it like i said on the xbox 360 way back in the day uh i don't hear a lot of people talking about it necessarily but i thought i saw this and i was uh, uh, like 10 bucks absolutely um and plus like i said i probably got a discount on it uh this i'm trying to remember. oh i bought this off of, i think it was off of joe <laughs> at one of, the sh one of the shows I was just trying to support his table and I didn't have it. It's just uh, Tony Larissa Baseball on the Sega Genesis. Um, I can't remember exactly what possessed me to buy this, but it is all complete and in really nice shape. I might have um, bought this just for this uh, case so I can case swap out uh, another like EA title kind of thing into this one because this case is in nice shape. I think that might have been my thinking on that. I can't totally remember, but that's all right. And let's see here. Oh, I picked up uh, for four bucks the director's cut of The Warriors. <laughs> uh, this is like a DVD, but it's it was brand new, so I figured I'd grab that. Um, what else? Oh, here we go. Uh, Tomb uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary Edition. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what I paid for that. I'm not even sure. Uh, probably no more than a few bucks though. And another Assassin's Creed game, Revelations, which we did not have. And let's see. Oh, this, I'm trying to remember where it came from, but it's Spider-Man on the PS4. I don't even have one yet. So it'll stay sealed till, well, mostly sealed, kind of coming off, but that'll stay mostly sealed. <laughs> Uh, until that kind of day. I picked up a couple of consoles. One was a white uh, PS2, which is kind of cool. I think what it came with was uh, one of the dance games or something, or maybe it was karaoke or something. I'm trying to remember which one, but it's some sort of edition like that, but it was a white console. I'll show you some like B-roll of it or whatever, because I already have it uh, in my setup. I took my my regular PS2 out and put that one in there because it looks cooler. So I got that. It came with the controller and that was around 25 bucks all in, I think. There it is right there. I just got it all plugged into the setup over here. So I uh, didn't, wasn't able to show it in the regular video, but there you go. There it is. It also came with a white controller. Super clean. Um, that's like with taxes and everything. And then I also picked up an Xbox 360. This one was 16.15, so I think I got like a dollar off. So I ended up with tax and everything. It came up to like 17 bucks or so. Uh, it does not have a hard drive in it, but I ordered a, an SSD, and I've also got a um, enclosure so I can set this up basically and uh, get it sort of going again. I tested it, it works perfectly fine, and the tray was also a copy of NHL Legacy, which I just put in this case here, but uh, NHL Legacy Edition, so that was inside the tray. And then a few other things that I'm sort of more interested in because they're more retro um, are a couple of uh, games, nothing crazy. I already had this one, Shinobi, so I just married like the best of both worlds kind of thing. Um, and made my copy a little more minty. So this is sort of like, this one's like a mishmash of, of the other one. So I basically took the best manual, best looking cart, 
So that's going to be for sale. This one I didn't have were in the world. It's Carmen San Diego. Uh, so for each of these, I think it was 10 bucks. Yeah, so I probably got a discount again. A couple dollars off of each one. Uh, so probably around and with taxes and everything in Canada, it's probably around 10 bucks anyways. Um, but yeah, so Carmen San Diego, this one uh, does not have its manual, which is kind of a bummer. And I actually, wait a second, let me tell you what I paid for that. Let's see. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I did use two dollars. I used a twenty percent off, so I ended up getting like two bucks off of uh, each one of those games, plus a few other things I bought that day. I have no idea what it was. Probably the books. But anyway, um, that was uh, one that I did not have in the collection, so I'll probably be looking for a manual for that. Shouldn't be too hard to find, I don't think. It's not super pricey, but is decent. And then I also picked up a copy of Bonner Raid. Uh, which I did not have in my collection. That's for the Sega Genesis. Or no, sorry. That's for the Master System. <laughs> right there. And this one, uh, again, it's kind of complete. But I probably need an upgrade for the manual. I'll show you here. It's really, like, nasty. Um, it's gross. It had this other, like, poster kind of thing in there. But, yeah, it's going to need a little bit of TLC. And the label slightly coming up on that side. So I'm going to have to, like do a little bit of restoration on that to make it look at least a little bit better um, but I figured for the price of like you know eight dollars or whatever that that was a pretty decent find I did not have that in the collection um, I think that's everything so that's everything I got for you this time around thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do feel free to thumbs up the video comment down below and one more extra thing on November the 2nd, I'll be streaming Extra Life again for 25 hours. Um, it's on November the 2nd. It's going to start at 8 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. And what we're going to be doing is raising money for Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto through Extra Life and Ch Children's Miracle Network uh, hospitals. So if you're able to show up that day or you're able to... Uh, Make some donations, spread the word, whatever, anything and everything that uh, promotes it, gets it out there. Um, all the money that goes to it goes to the Sick Kids Hospitals. And that's exactly what uh, I've been doing. And this will be the ninth year of doing it. So I hope you'll join me on that day. And of course, I'll be doing pump up videos and stuff as we get closer to that date. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all later.